show you how to add in a control. Now the first thing you do is set the limits. We've already set the limits on this motor. You can go and look at the other video on how to set the limits. Once the limits are set, then you want to identify the open window and the clockwise button. The open window and the clockwise button. Those are the two buttons closest to the center light. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hold that open window until the light starts flashing and goes solid. Once that goes solid, you're just going to tap that clockwise button. You're going to start getting a flash. It is looking for a signal. You're going to go to your Pico control and you're going to hold the closed button. You're just going to keep holding it until you get a flashing light or the uh, shade is going to move to identify it's been programmed. Now you can just check the programming. Open, close, operates the shade. Now, if you wanted to remove a Pico what you need, or a hand control, what you need to do is reset the motor. In order to reset the motor, you're going to go to the closed window. You're going to hold in that button until we get a flashing light. Then we're going to go to the open window and we're going to hold that button until we get a flashing light. We're going to go to the clockwise button, holding it in until we get a flashing light. And then lastly, the counterclockwise button until we get a flashing light. Once the lights go blue, red, green, that motor is reset. The limits do not go away. They are still set, but the control no longer operates. So that's how to remove a control.